That last time was on the ozone, uh, the dangerous gases created by cold plasma and ozone. Yes, so here's, here's the expert, Jim. Uh, well, no, it can be very dangerous actually to, to, to produce high voltage ozone. One thing that is very important is if you're producing a, a high voltage ozone, you need to use pure oxygen. Mm -hmm. If you're using uh, atmosphere air, you have too much nitrogen in regard to oxygen. And because of the energy you have inside this machine, you will connect those two uh, products. I now see. you have NOx, nitrogen, oxygen. Makes it sense. makes it dangerous. It's one thing. The other thing that is actually, when you use high voltage ozone into an airstream and you think you are reducing the odors, you are not, you are uh, masking, you are changing the odors, that is what you are doing. Because you will need to have a much, much longer reaction time. What we are doing, we work with UV technology. The UV as a tool itself breaks down the protein chains. Yes. Now you have a product that is easy to oxidize compared to what you had up front. Oh, okay, that, that makes sense. I, al I always combine it with, if you have a piece of wood, you try yeah. to fire it up, it can be quite uh, difficult. If you slice it in very small slices, and you try to fire it up, poof, yes. it's fine. Oh, so, and that's when, clever. When you, when you now are using high voltage ozone into to, to an airstream, uh, and you take sample bags out for analyzing, mm -hmm. you have ozone in the bag. Now you have hours of reaction time. It means the analysis that you are coming up with is not correct. Because it's not a, it's not a possibility to keep the, uh, the air back in the system for maybe five minutes in a, in a company. Yes. It's, it's totally uh, unrealistic because you maybe need five minutes of reaction time. And if you have 30,000 cubic meter an hour or more, where would you put the air? That makes sense. I would love to do that kind of study, like take a sample right away and then take it like in five hours and see. Yes. I don't know if you have any installations in Canada that if you, next time you're in Canada, we can we go have together. One that, uh, I think the company is uh, Fishery Products. Uh, Fishery Products? In near Toronto? Uh, or? I think so. Near Toronto, okay. Um, they are working together with Gorson Seafoods in the United States where we have seven units. Uh, seven there. units? Yeah. Oh, okay. So we, we, we are starting in Canada, but in the small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah First over, US. Over, and over, over Europe. Yes, over yes. Over Europe and Far East and, and uh, uh, North America in general. We, we do have some uh, quite uh, that's a, that's and but now we're starting here and we'll see. <laughs> that's yeah. a very interesting technology. Thank you Thank so much. You.